16, the two-leader and under sports sedan scratch race. The pole position, Robert Thompson in the Datsun. Andrew Pinkett and on his outside and car 13 also in the Datsun. And uh, one of those two is sure to lead out of the first turn into Auto Action Corner, Phil, but who will it be? Pinkett made a good start from the outside of last time around. He's made a good start. Oh, look at Phil Morris from the second row of the group. Thank Ooh. you very much around the outside of both of them. Very he clever drive. Flew and he's led. Look at this. Phil Morris, car 33, has come from behind Pinkerton, whizzed around him at the start, and he's absolutely flown. As you can see, a fair bit of traffic there as they go around Juo Corner, and Morris in front. Phil Morris, he's out in front. Robert Thompson and Andrew Pinkerton, they're the two behind him, and uh, behind them then is David Bienvenu. But this is the guy. He's absolutely dashed the start. Phil Morris in car 33. That could be a really telling manoeuvre. These three guys were very evenly matched in all the racing so far, so that start could really hold Phil Morris in pretty good for the last nine and a half laps of this race. Robert Thompson in second, in third is Andrew Pinkerton. And you see Phil Morris there working his way around through Nissan Corner at the moment. And uh, he's got away by about three or four car lengths. Now this will be interesting to see whether he can hold this, what sort of power they've got down Dunlop Straight because he's held the advantage through the S's and through the bends. Very nice package. Phil Morris has done a tremendous amount of work in the Datsun ranks in uh, club car racing, now translating up to sports sedan. And look at him scream away. He's got that uh, gap out to about five car lengths already. There he goes through the motorsport news S's. Well, they do take this uh, class very, very seriously. Phil, I was talking to Robert Thompson yesterday. He actually puts a camera in the back of the car, films himself, looks at it and see what he's doing wrong and what he's doing right. Topping the rise and down towards Auto Action Corner yet again. Phil Morris with the wipers going full bore. And it's interesting to see how they're almost sticking to the screen at times going across. It's not a real smooth action. No, well, there's all sorts of tricks these drivers have to try and get the blades to stick to the windscreen because if they lift at speed, that's the last thing you want. When you're going at 160 kilometres an hour, you want maximum downforce on your wipers. So there's all sorts of little wings and things they put on the wipers to make sure they stay on the screen. You can see the volume of water coming up as he goes through the S's there and around through the sweeper and the water just spraying up everywhere from Phil Morris's car up to the top turn, pen right corner, now he'll come back down around to Nissan corner, throw a left here, then another right at Suzuki and he's into Dunlop straight yet again and things looking good for him. He's been there from the outset and really apart from a couple of times when Robert Thompson's got right in his hammer, he's had a comfortable buffer hasn't he? That start did it all for him. If he hadn't have made the start, he would have really had to work very, very hard to get past Thompson, but he did it all off the lights and all credit to him. It just proves being quick out of the blocks is a big benefit. Absolutely. There he is down Dunlop straight yet again, and this time he'll have a grin in his face when he makes his way around through the motorsport S's. You can see in the background, that's Robert Thompson behind him. Phil Morris in front, comes through. He's only got one turn to negotiate and see him come around this into Shell straight. At the end of this, the chequered flag will be there, and there it is. And he crosses the line, Phil Morris. Second home is Robert Thompson. And a long wait it's going to be for third. The man with the flag, well, I think he'll be freezing. He'll be going away to get the thermos and the Stanley, the whole lot, to warm himself up while they wait here. Would you like an electric blanket, sir? There they come into view now. And uh, that's Cosy going over the line, but he hasn't actually finished third. There's Pinkerton finally over the line third. And this gentleman has got a job you would not want today here at Winton Motor Raceway. Phil. No, we've got the best job in the place, I think, Sean. There we go. That's the result of the two-litre and under sports sedan scratch race. Car club member Robert Thompson has adopted state-of-the-art computer equipment.